Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Boot Hill Heroes. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode, we got a little bit further in the circus, and hopefully this is the last episode where we find ourselves at the circus. Uh, what we have to do is go save Rosie in the middle of the ring where she's being attacked by tigers. But before we head there, I figured, why not check out this place here? See if they have any good stuff for our good friends. Ooh, a sawed-off, eh? An illegally modified shotgun. I feel like that would be an exceptionally good weapon for Doc, and it actually increases it by uh, six. So let's find a way to afford this. Um, we have many things here that I'm assuming we can probably sell. I mean, let's sell a few of these. Why not? We can probably just keep one. Cactus, we have a ton of it, so I'm going to send, sell most of it. Claws, same thing. I'm going to sell 10 of them. How much are we at? F 55. Eh? All right, I'm sure we can sell all our eggs. Uh, let's keep those because they sound kind of handy. Fangs, you know what? Let's sell a few of them. Um... Those are on the floor, so we'll sell all of them. Horn, I think the same thing. All right, let's see here. Like things like kerosene, I want to keep because they sound like something you would find, uh, you would use to upgrade your goods. And uh, yeah, I mean, here, why not? Why not just sell all the shells? And I think we're. Oh my God. Oh, is that a weapon or is that a good that we've got from the freaking? Okay, so let's sell this old weapon, because... Oh, I actually have multiple of them? Heck yeah. Um, old blue. Oh, man, it's, it's upgraded pretty well, too. Old pepper box here. All right, well, I don't need to sell everything. Let's just get the sawed-off shotgun. Yes, I'll buy one of those. And uh, nothing else. All right. I didn't want to get on the horse. Let's give it to, to our good friend Doc. He's my favorite. Let's give him that little good old sawed off. And while we're at it, well, let's get on the horse there just to make things a little bit quicker. Uh, the magician can actually upgrade our weapon. So uh, we just have to find him. I'm not too sure where he is. I think it's over here. So if we can find a way. Yes, yes, yes. You say things. Man, things are so hectic. And it's like, but uh, Rusty made sure to tell us. To upgrade. All right, sawed off. We're gonna do. Let's do attack up, I guess. Oh no, we don't have sheep ten or antlers. Ah, uh, we're actually missing way too much here. I mean, there's some things we could add, but I don't really want to add confusion or any of these things. I just wanted to add some more damage, and I have no idea where to fight some sheep ten or some antlers. So with that done, um, actually. Let's save. <laughs> I know we just started, but if ever the fight against the um, against our, the tigers is difficult, we'll just uh, be able to reload without having to go buy everything. And yeah, I'll save back on, on top of this. I'll just have to explain that between episodes. Oh, no, it's over here. Rosie, we're on our way. What does he have to say? I don't think he was there before, was he? Matt Earl McGovern asked us to stop by the circus in case anybody fell ill or... Oh, no. I already spoke to you. No, I'm feeling fine. Rosie, we're on our way! Oh, now she's surrounded. We had managed to actually hide behind the cage. Rosie! About time some help showed up. I thought my goose was cooked for sure. S say, can you folks help me with these here beasties? I bet things will get mighty hectic. So don't forget he can pause an unpaused battle clock to choose our actions carefully. Uh, I, I've always known that, but I guess they're worried that we might not remember. Now, who's who here? I have no idea. Well, I mean, this is obviously our good friend Kid. Blast is going to be point blank. Yeah, that's definitely our good friend Doc. Flame Arrow is Moon. And this is going to be Rosie. So let's start off the action this way. I uh, didn't do much, but it did. Uh, okay, it did do a little bit. Let's just keep actually, you know, let's not poison the same one. Let's go poison just a random one over here. 
Oop, we're still receiving a little bit of damage here. All right, so we didn't get a freebie, but we'll keep going. Now, Flame Arrow will kill it. I don't know if it's worth all those points. I think a regular will just do the trick. Let's do another cold uh, up close with that one, like this. And, uh, oh, so archery's already used, so let's just go this way. So there you go, as I had suspected. No, 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 no. We definitely need you to kill this one. Oh god. That thing's gonna do a lot of damage, isn't it? Oh god. And we didn't get a freebie. That's disastrous. Oh god. Yeah, that's not good. But that's okay. We do have moonlight here. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. And then do this. Alright, let's go. Ow. How the heck did Moon die already? Hey, come on. We need some freebies here. I don't need a point blank anymore. Just a regular. Doc is too... De oh, no. Dang it. Alright, so we'll get a hog tie. Come on. Freebie. Okay. We got the freebie here. Let's keep going. Maybe we can finish it off. Before it gets another attack in. No! Oh god. That might hurt. Oh god. Okay. Alright, can you get back to us, please? Come back to life, Ro uh, Rosie? I mean, Moon? Oh god. Too terrified, eh? That's what I thought. We can do this! Come on, Moon, come back to life! Hogtie. Uh oh. Oh no, now she's too terrified. Come on! Well, now you're just making me not be able. To... Of course, he's ter. There it goes. So, do let's do a poison lash. Okay, good. Revive yourself. You do a blast. You do a freebie. Maybe the freebies will keep going. Actually, I think that might have been a... Fr oh, no, we just had a bunch of them. And there you go. So everybody's back to life. Hopefully that doesn't affect our experience levels. We probably should have done more... Um, more uh, dodging there. But Oh, well, what are you going to do? So 106 experience points. Not bad. Four vantage points. Moon gained the level. Good, good, good. She's probably the one that needs the level the most. Because she's so fragile. She seems to die in almost every single battle. And Rosie learned Whip Crack. Well, the multiple targets, 40% fear. Multiple targets. That sounds absolutely amazing. And oh my God, look at that. And the main cell for like all 10 bucks each, I think. That calmed them down. Now let's find Monty Spades. I have a bone to pick with him. If he thinks angry lions are ferocious, wait till he gets a load of Rosie Garrett. And the lions are just there. You're not gonna put them back in the cage. Uh oh So, I see the four most annoying people in my life have somehow joined together. Sounds about right. Why are you trying to kill me, Monty? I ain't never done nothing to you. Scorpion Saint's orders. You were asking too many questions about the attack on Ashwood. But I shouldn't say any more. It's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> You mean now that St. Little Gangs per perpetrated the attack on Ashwood and framed my people, the Chepaquick? Yow! Why? How'd you know that? Meh, it doesn't matter. I'll just have to eliminate all of you now. Not that I needed any convincing. Uh-oh. Nah, I think your luck's running out. I'm tired of looking at you people. Go get them, boys! Are you seriously going to try and attack me again? Hmm. What's the matter with you, though? Two. Your feet stuck in molasses? I said advance on them. There you're not your puppets anymore, Mounty. And neither am I. What? Madam McGovern, we had a deal. It's over, Mounty. There's nothing here to run. Nowhere? Nowhere here? Ooh. 
But I'm Monty Spades, and running away is what I do best. Oh, God. Let's go after him. Don't, don't stop. Kid, hold your horses. There ain't nowhere up there for Monty to run. We can hang back a few minutes. Kid, I've noticed you'll really learn how to handle a piece. I knew you'd be a natural when they first gave you that gun back in Swellsville. I want to show you a secret technique. I think you're ready for it. This technique was invented by a man I once knew who could shoot better than all the rest. Even Coyote Saint himself. But sadly, he was a man who didn't know when to pull the trigger. Anyway, the technique is called Star Shot. It's just like a regular shoot attack, but the only way to unleash its true power is if the enemy has status elements. The more status elements your enemy has, the more powerful Star Shot becomes. Kid learned the Vantage Star Shot. Status elements? Sounds like it requires a bit of teamwork to use it effectively. You can count on me, kid. I have come with you this far and you have not let me astray. Then let's keep Monty Spades waiting. Or let's not keep him waiting, but if I want to use Star Shot, I'm going to have to equip it. And I think maybe switching out Tackle might be a good idea. Hmm. Let's see here. I thought I already had a move that did that, but oh well. Now, Rosie. Um. You still have Taunt you can equip, so let's leave it at that. But, uh, what would be good for you? Hmm, kick's not that great. So let's give it the whip, the old whip crack. Hit, hit everyone, right? There you go. Well, looks like you're ready for a big showdown. Save your game? Of course. <laughs> Was there any doubt? That's what you're for, Rusty. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Monty went up the ladder to the platform. There's nowhere he could escape from, from there. Bet your dog, get your gear together and go after him. Or run back to the circuit if you need something, but hurry up about it. Sorry for blowing so much fire in your faces. We were just doing what we thought was best for the circus at the time. Now go give Monty a kick in the head from, from me. Will do, will do. Can't believe we're fooling uh, uh, following orders from a member of the Saints' little gang. Now that's a tough sword to swallow. Yeah, well, we're gonna stop. Put us. What the heck? That was weird. All right, you can't escape this time, Monty. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many times I've heard that? Face it, I've been dealt a winning hand in life, and there's no stopping me. Ladi da, look at me walk on a wire. Yeah, we'll stop him. Hey, Ogden, come and help us out. Why don't you? You think you're gonna fire out of a cannon? There's no one left to run. Hmm. Cause so it seems there isn't. Maybe I really should give up. <laughs> oh, something tells me he's not going to give up. Nope. You followed me right into my trap. Yeah, because he's got cannons now. He's ready for our last fight. All right, first of all, let's do a little blast here. We're going to do some regular ones. And let's set him on fire. And let's poison him. Let's do it. So, uh, that didn't work. Come on, we need some poison on him. Ooh, ooh, that's dangerous. Monty Space like the fuse on the right cannon. Oh, that's not good. Uh, point blank there. Ooh, let's just keep doing freebies then. Oh, yeah, we'll keep doing them. I don't mind Chance to stun target. Let's see if we can stun these things and we'll keep doing a little gambit. Oh, that was dangerous All right, so a little point blank uh, cold stock on this guy flame arrow on this guy. Come on, man get poisoned I think trap Needs to, I forgot how it worked and maybe we can try and blast this thing. I don't I don't remember how it works really Okay, one of those One of those, you know what? Let's star shot the heck out of them. Boom 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 Not as good as I would have liked but oh well 
Gambit, just trap. Come on, finish him off. We're gonna need you to moonlight our friend Doc here. Okay, good. Trap him. Ah, oh, come on. Let's just try and finish him off here. Yes. We're gonna have to beat these cannons. Oh, thankfully we got to finish him off before the cannons. I wasn't sure if we'd have to beat him or not, but oh no. I'm really getting tired of this, so no more holding back. Uh oh. This time I'm called forth the full blessings of something. Grant me the ultimate power over fortune so I can finally eradicate my foes, or whatever he said. Too fast. Even if I'm cursed with impossibly bad luck hereafter. It'll be worth it to see your graves on Boot Hill. Just like your father, kid. But I might not know that yet. So let's do a little bit of flame arrow on him. A little bit of a... Ah, oh, come on. Uh, cold. I forget what that does. There you go. Made him stumble. Oh, wow. Another freebie then. Oh, let's just keep doing freebies if we can. Point blank. Come on, guys. Oh, God. Ow. Not, not inflamed, but he is poisoned. So I'm going to do a hog tie. Oh, wow. This freebie is so good. And since he has a few things going on for him right now, whew, thank God. I kind of want to do a star shot. He's got two of them. Actually, let's just wait a little bit. Ah, oh, his, oh man, it's gone. No, 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 ah, oh, I'm so stupid. Why did I do star shot? <gasps> oh God, he's actually kind of dangerous now. Okay, trap because he has a gambit on stumbled freebie oh god no oh my god we're so screwed right now we really need our good friend shrug it off shrug it off oh god no it doesn't heal we're screwed dang it the party was defeated well that was tough all right i'm gonna be right back guys and we're back. He's not too happy with us, but hopefully we get to apply a few uh, things this time around. And I guess we're going to try and do a little bit uh, more healing here. So Moon will have to be on the lookout. And hopefully we can trigger a lot of freaking freebies because they're going to need them. So our health is kind of high. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to heal... Oh, actually, it's that's Moon, so that's fine. All right, all right, all right, we get it. You want to kill us? You want to bury us on Boot Hill? But we're not gonna let that happen. So that let's do that. Let's cancel this. Let's do that on Moon. Um, let's try and slow him down. I think Hogtie. Actually, you know what? Hogtie, percent, ch ninety percent chance of paralyzing. And unfortunately, okay, cold. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Chance to stun target. So I think that's kind of important right now. So hopefully... Okay, so we've healed the her back up. Um... Uh, missed. Okay, that's good. Our health is fine. Let's try and do just maybe some blasts then. You know what? Let's do a star shot because he has so much stuff right now. Superstars and un I just unlocked superstar and it's an achievement. So that's kind of cool But it seems to remove all his things. So that's not good. So all right moon Please heal yourself in time Oh god, okay, whoo Okay, good call well done We can try one of these. Oh ouch. Okay, so you heal kid. Let's keep everyone full health here uh, He is kind of Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's keep going. This is going a lot better. We're healing people. Um, not everybody, but, you know, we're still... Oh, great. Not what I wanted, but... Oh, God. Okay, let's cancel that. Let's heal Moon first, because we have to keep her alive to be able to get everyone. Uh, no. Let's do a hog tie again. Let's try and do a trap. 
course. Okay, so once you heal Rosie, thank you. Uh, we're gonna try just do these regular ones because nothing seems to be working right now. A little blank. You know what? Let's try one of these. How low is she? Eh, about half. Guess not that bad. Yes, freebie, more freebies. Yes, more freebies, more freebies. Yes, more freebies. Let's keep going. Keep the. Aww. I wanted the gravy train to keep going, but I guess it didn't really work. Okay, let's heal Rosie. Let's not get too greedy here. Oh, yeah. Yes, let's finish it off on another freebie. Yes. Monty is down. And he's done. His luck has, fi has finally run out. Oh, you finally got me! The party gained 183 experience points and 5 vantage points. Rosie learned taunt. Good. Opponents are less likely to use stances. Oh, that's good, actually. That would have been useful against this guy. Uh, Monty Spades wrought Ace of Spades. I'm assuming that's a good thing. Ooh, look at him. He's dead. Or is he dead? No! Impossible! It still wasn't enough! Why can't I beat you? Ah, uh, just give up. Uh, oops, uh, wrong person. That's right. Just give up already. Jeez, you've got more lives than the cat bone on leap year. Are you, uh, or do you have another ace up your sleeve? No, we got his ace. Hmm. He's gonna try and blast himself away. As a matter of fact, his voice is a little scratchy now. Hopefully, he shoots into the freaking wall of the mountain. Because he's definitely out of luck. I ain't going down today. And we just unlocked an achievement called Getting Away Again? Question mark. This cannon will find me way the heck out of here. No, from what we know. And don't feel bad. Did you really think the legendary Monty Spade was going to be defeated by a bunch of turkeys like you? No, no. These things need a lot of math to be uh, to aim properly. That's just the way it is. I always escape. Every time, even if it looks like I'm a real pickle. Oh. oh no. No pickle. Oh god. Boom! Oh, right in the lions. <laughs> I would say his luck has definitely run out. He's gonna run in the cage to like protect himself and then we'll have him in prison forever. Oh! Ow! That was. Unlucky? Oh, easy, fellas. Let me tell you about it. Let's play a game. Let's play blackjack. If I win, you let me go. Oh, oh, no. Oh, boy. Nice, kitty. Oh, God. Did, it, did, he, did they just devour him? Oh, maybe they did. Oh. I want to know. What oh, that's some epic music right there. There we go. Wanted, Monty Spades. Wanted for bribery, theft, uh, impersonating an officer of the law. Deceased. Oh, he's dead. And illegal gambling. Oh, man. We just took out someone from the Saints Little Gang. Now they're really, we really have a target on our head. Man, where's, where are we going to go next? Well... That was about the most misfortunate thing I've ever seen happen to somebody. The Chepequick believes that fortune must maintain a balance. One cannot benefit from good luck for so long before something extraordinarily unlucky happens. Devoured by lions. Talk about a bad way to bite the dust. Monty Spades got what he deserved. Someone should have gotten rid of him a long time ago. You speak words fueled by cruelty equal to our enemies. Yeah, just who are you anyway? Some kind of bounty hunter? Doesn't matter. I'll be on my way now. No, Doc, we need your help. Kid, here's the money that Monty Spade swindled from you back in Swellsville. I told you it wouldn't be easy to get back. Holy smokes! That's a lot of money. You might be able to save the farm. The only other thing left on Monty Spades was this hat. You may as well have it. A derby. We got it. 
What can we learn from it? And just as mysteriously as he came, Doc left. What a strange, what a strange guy. Kid, he's a friend of yours? Yeah, I guess you could say so. So was it true what Monte Spade said about the Saints' little gang? Were they really behind the attack on town of Ashwood? It's true. They burnt Ashwood to the ground while pretending to be my people, the Chepaquick. Well, I'll be a turnip on Tuesday. I knew there was something fishy about that night. But why would the Saints' little gang want to frame the Chepaquick? We don't know. According to what Kid overheard, there was someone else pulling the strings. We were on our way to Swellfield to inform the sheriff before we got sidetracked by this circus. Then you can bet your britches that I'm coming with you. I lost my home in the burning of Ashwood. I want to see those responsible behind bars. I ain't taking no for an answer, you hear? I agree. Perhaps it was the will of the spirits for us three to meet here. Is this all right with you, kid? Yes, of course. In fact, I was kind of hoping Doc would stay along. Why does this yes look like he's slapping? Terrific! I felt like I was wasting my potential in this circus anyhow. I was born to ride horses, not tame lions. The firecracker rodeo gal Rosie Garrett has joined the party. Hey, before we leave for Swellsville, do you mind if I have a word with Matt Earl McGovern? Need to tell him that I quit and give him a proper respects. I'll be quick about it. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Might as well. Man, it's funny how after a disastrous strike against Mounty, we actually beat him pretty easily. I have to say, though, one thing that I noticed was that I actually did not get my health back after beating him in his first form. So I think that explains um, what happened. So, uh, yeah, we have everyone, though. I guess I could come and check here if I can buy anything for Rosie. <clears throat> I think I actually bought something in the last episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you get us? Uh, Rosie. No, you have uh, Lasso's, and there's none here. So we're good. Oh, Moon has a freaking bleed thing. I do want to to grab this thing here. So we're going to talk to the doctor here. It does go away after a while, but, you know, might as well just get rid of it now. Especially since we have so much money. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, patch me up. What do we got? We got, we need the banjo. Up. There you go. Uh, let's grab this. Got some oil. A wiry tail. Now, Matter McGovern should be in this one. I'm not sure if it's this one. Nope, that's the uh, dress-up room. It kind of looks like them, though. Oh, there it is. I quit. Good moon, Rosie. Sorry about everything. I was a fool to get involved with Monte Spades. <clears throat> I can't quite do his voice. I've already paid for your trip to Swellsville, of course. Rosie, really, I've heard that you want to go as well. I'd love for you to stay. No one can whip those lions into shape like you. But if you want to leave us, then I wish you the best. Thanks a bunch, Mr. McGovern. It's been fun. Here, I want you to take my hat. It's the least I could do to make amends for my actions. Matt Old McGovern gave you a hat. Hmm, now that I can get better look, I said that my hat's too big for any of you to wear, so you won't see it in your equipment inventory right now. But hang on to it anyway. Oh, and Moon. Minerva Hart was hoping to speak with you before you leave. I know you're looking to get out of here as soon as possible, but I'd be mighty kind of you to say goodbye to her, too. I think she's the one from um, the dressing room. Now, first of all, we can put on the new hat here, the derby. Blackjack, lucky dice roll. Might as well learn them all. Oh, and wait, we can actually equip probably... Uh, this does what again? It causes you to regenerate power faster during battles, which is useful. But I want to see what the ace does, which doesn't seem to be something to equip. we can equip here. And oh, so what does it do then? Is it some sort of weapon? Oh my god, look at that sword. Huh, who knows? Who knows? But we will go talk to Minerva here. I'm the wardrobe manager, Tracy Howard. Ah, oh, that's not who I want. Who's Minerva? 
Uh, wait, can we buy something here? Oh, a little tribal dress. Um, yeah, we're gonna buy that because the moon keeps dying all the time. And Leotard, a colorful fitting outfit for performers. Um, okay, so was that actually better? Because this one's 8, but this one's 10. Hmm, this one actually might be better. Yeah, I'll buy two. I kind of screwed that one up, but whatever. Alright, so let's equip one for her. Leotard, and one for you. Leotard, oop, Leotard. But what is, there must be something special about this. Tribal dress adorned with a large shell? Whatever. Alright, so Minerva is... Who's Minerva? It's not her. Lady Lamaru. Was she the fortune teller? Uh, Minerva Hart. There we go. The acting coach or whatever. Moon Dancer, all things considered, you did a fantastic job in the show. I was so proud. But it really raised my na hackles to hear the audience boo you because you're a Chepaquick. Now, I don't know the situation here between Bronco County and your people, but I know you're a good person. I hear you're on your way to Swellville, so you might want to try going incognito in such a place. I got this bonnet out of wardrobe when Tracy Howard wasn't looking. Uh, we got a bonnet. That should be enough to hide your ancestry. No offense, but it will keep your, uh, the folks from riling up uh, upon seeing you. Well, that's nice of you. I understand why you might want to hide it. And she's learned everything she can learn here. So what can she learn? Oh, from the headdress? Oh, she can learn quite a bit. And what about this? Flirt, headbutt, yellow rose, harvest. You know what? Let's put it on. Ha! Looks ridiculous. And we got a bunch of feathers here. All right, so we're going to save. Uh, we're going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we're going to head to freaking Swellsville. About freaking time. And hopefully... Um, we'll be able to set things straight and explain that the Chepaquick are not responsible for what to happen in Ashwood. So as always, I am your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. Let me know what you think of Boot Hill Hero, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.